passion to me is like freedom dreaming and having hope. And so personally, I'm kind of in a crisis personally of like, to me, I think birthing life in, or like continuing to live is an act of abolition and hope against a system that would say your life is profit, your life is commodity. But when I think about abolition, like ultimately, I think about the LAPD and the narratives they draw out to perpetuate their violence and to expand their resources. And I think about how that's constantly overriding our reality, like actual reality. And to me, abolition is the assertion of reality. Music is about love. It's about getting the women you want. It's about telling her how much you love her. And then perfect, it's just like you're literally telling her what that you're in love with this one person. So when I do make music, I definitely think about um, the girl that I'm talking to, the women that I'm talking to at that time, and if she would like it, and if it's something that I can send to her to like share how much I love her. Yeah. had a really kind of transformative experience at a metal show where I had a really cathartic experience but in searching for metal that I felt comfortable with the lyrics I had a really hard time and so I wanted to kind of bring some of those metal sounds into my music but with my own personal experience. Really discomfort is like kind of at the root of my understanding of abolition you know because you have to understand your own complicity and you have to understand your own privilege within every system so for me for the music industry a lot of it is just connecting with my community and um, saying no to certain gigs canceling certain shows cutting off connections with people who are problematic and that's kind of that's where it starts I'm eager but I'm unsure how to build muscularity and softness in praxis, specifically praxis that is also anti-state, and especially one that acknowledges how fascism works the state into the body and considers them one and the same. It's about West African vocalists the griot tradition, West African vocalists sharing histories, concepts, and cultural mores. It's about tuning in and tuning up. It's about finding our harmony. It's about finding the rhythm for the work that we now know we must begin to get really fucking serious about. Yeah.